Hi, people of the Most High God. So I had a vision that I'm supposed to share with you. So I'm going to share it. And um, I'll just tell you it. Um, I will quote from it not too long ago. And I was asked to share it. So um, I'm going to tell you it. So basically, I was in my vision. And then I heard um, the children of the promise are walking in the promises of God now and Zion is walking in the promises of God the children of Zion Judah Israel and God's covenant people are walking in the promises of God so all the nations who have a covenant with God who are in the body of Christ they're now walking in the promises of God God wants you to know that and then there's two scriptures for you and you can definitely take this up with fasting and praying all right, Revelations 11 and 18, and Deuteronomy 7 and 2. All right, and the nations were angry, and thy wrath is come, and the time of the dead that they should be judged, and that thou should give reward unto thy servants, the prophets, and to the saints, and them that fear thy name, small and great, and should destroy them which destroy the earth. So the saints and them that fear God's name, small and great, should destroy them which destroy the earth. And then I was given Deuteronomy 7 and 2. And when the Lord thy God shall deliver them before thee, so God's going to deliver his promised people. All right? Thou shalt smite them and utterly destroy them. Thou shalt make no covenant with them, nor show mercy unto them. Because the people who are walking in the promises of God, they're in covenant with God. So God's covenant people are walking in the promises of God, all right? Because God made a covenant with his people, his promise. Um, I hope this helped you stay blessed and walk in the promises of God. I hope you repented so that you can walk in the promises of God and receive all the blessings and the goodness that come with it and that he can change you to utterly destroy the enemy and those who are not in covenant with him. Um, stay blessed.